Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. So today I decided to give my mommy a break from the kitchen. So I decided to cook. So yeah, I am trying to make biryani for the first time. So yeah, I'm making the ginger and garlic paste for the biryani. And then I boil some rice. So now I'm going to strain it and leave it aside. And then next we're going to clean the chicken. I'm going to show you how I clean my chicken today. So it, so in so where I stay, the chicken isn't normally dirty, but still you have to wash it and then this gives me a chance to clean it nicely and make some cuts into the chicken. So it's easy when I cook and I just add it and I don't have to do anything. So just here and there a little bit of fat in the chicken pieces that you have to remove. And a little bit of the the parts that we don't eat so I have to remove that as well so it's easy when you use a knife and you just clean and then it's perfect to be cooked so it was only me and my mommy at home so I decided to only make like two plates of biryani so I'm not gonna use a lot of chicken a lot of potatoes it's just two people so I separated the chicken that I'm going to use and I'm going to show you what I do for the rest. You can see the chicken is clean now. And this is I'm going to show you the things that I'm going to throw away. So it's not so much, but these are things that you just throw away in the bun. And now, that's the remaining chicken that I'm going to freeze. So I'm going to show you how I freeze it. So I take any plastic bag, you can take any airtight bag as well and then I just place all the chicken in there. I don't like touching the chicken ball so I just put some in my hands. So then I place the chicken inside and I close the top and it's ready to be, to be frozen and then it's easy to use next time. So yeah, I'm starting to make the biryani, I add a little bit of oil. If you haven't watched my biryani video, I'll leave the link in the description. I'll show you step by step how I make my biryani. Yeah, I'm just showing you roughly how I do the things. So I added whole spices, ginger and garlic. And then I let it fry in the oil. Add a little bit of water and I just cover it. Making biryani is requires a lot of steps, so it takes very long to make, like one hour, maybe even one and a half hours. So then there I added my chicken. I added only a few pieces, as I said, it's only for two people. And I'm gonna fry it. Sometimes it's good to give your mummies a break from the kitchen in the kitchen 24 7 so sometimes you just, you just let them relax and you do the whole thing so i also decided to make something sweet i decided to make some shir khurma so i'm adding some vermicelli dip i'm gonna crush it into small pieces and then i'm gonna add a little bit of water so that is the vermicelli can get a little bit soft in my house, we prefer eating sweet after we have our main meal. So this is like a must that we have to have something sweet, like a dessert. Now I'm going to check the chicken there is cooking nicely. Now for biryani, you have to be patient. You just mix a little bit and you cover it again. Mix and cover until your chicken is cooked properly. And now the vermicelli is soft, so I'm going to add about 1 litre of milk. Just let it cook and boil and let it get thick. And then my biryani is almost ready. 
the gravy is looking thick and then my my shirkuma is also looking good just a few minutes and we're done yeah i'm letting my biryani steam on the side and my shirkuma is ready now i'm gonna dish it out so i'm gonna add garnish it with some almonds and it's ready to be served I'm gonna place it in the fridge for a few minutes, then serve it. Now, after 15 minutes, my biryani is done. You can see the smoke and it smells so delicious. So mix it a bit so the masala can go all over the rice, and then we dish it out. And there we go. Our two plates of biryani is ready. It took long, but it was worth it. And my mommy appreciated it very much so these are the dishes from the time i spent in the kitchen this is something that we always that whenever i make the video there's always dishes and this is not something that you guys see every day but this is part of the kitchen routine so i want to show you today how i do my dishes so first of all i like to clean like throw away everything it is extra in the bun and just make some order in the dishes then i take some soap and then place it on put it on the sponge and wash the glasses first so it's easy because then the glasses start smelling funny if you start washing other dishes first. So I just wash the glasses first and then do the rest. And then uh, the plates and as the dishes come along, that's how I do it. And that's it. I feel like this should be shown in the videos also because this is also part of the work. We we'll just show you the recipe and then this is something that is behind the scenes. When you make the recipe, this is and you leave it like that, then it's not like something is complete. So this is like the complete and last step of your recipe. And then you just clean up. put some water in that pan so the milk could get soft and it was easy to wash them because as the milk dries then it's very difficult to wash and then the spoons lastly I washed them and then this is the thing that I'm going to show you that stops all the dirt from going in the drain so this is, I am, this is what I empty out in the bun, all the dirt goes in the bun and then I clean it again and place it back in. The stops uh, is like from any dirt from the food from going in the drain and blocking it. So it's something really good to have in your basin. So I clean the basin all around and let it shine. This is my favorite part of the dishes, the end part. And then with the cloth I clean all the soap off. I do the shelf next to it where I place my dishes so it's easier. A clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I'll see you guys next time. Please do like, share, and subscribe.